Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sulaiman Surani. For today's Spark AR tutorial, I will be adding music to my Instagram filter. As you know, in adding music is very important, especially if you're working with brands to create filters um, for your client. And uh, knowing how to add music to your filter is very essential. So we're just going to focus on that. And there are a few things for you to take note when you're adding music to Spark AR Studio. And I'm going to go through step by step with you. I have um, an existing project here that I actually created. If you actually missed this out, uh, in my last tutorial, I actually created a picker UI on my Instagram filter. So I'm just going to add music to this one. And I have an MP3 music that I want to add in. And I need to convert it to M4A format. So in order for me to convert, I usually will go to um, an audio converter online. Um, and you can use any of the converters online that you can find. I usually use this one, audio.online-convert.com. Right, so I need to convert my audio to M4A. That's the only format that M Spark AR recognizes. So I'm going to uh, import the music in. Okay, I want to make sure that I'll change it to 48,000. It only recognizes mono, so take note of that. And I'm going to treat my audio, right? Because um, again, for IG filter, usually it's about 15 seconds. So, um, and we want to make sure that the audio clip is as short as possible, about at least 15 seconds, but at the same time, maintain its quality. So I'm going to change this to 15 seconds. And I'm going to start to convert. So let's head over to back to our Spark AR Studio. And uh, I'm just going to add music to this particular uh, effects that I've created. And to do that, firstly, of course, I would like to add a playback controller. Right, and um, there are two options here. I'm going to look for audio playback controller. I can rename this, but I'm not going to rename this for now. And I'm going to import my music as well. Once I have my audio here, I'm going to cl uh, click on the audio playback controller. And under the audio here, I'm going to choose the music that I want to link it to. And of course, I want it to play. I can have the option of having it to loop in this case. So I'm going to bring this to my patch editor by clicking on the yellow arrow icon here. Just click here. And I have my audio playback controller. So when you have a mus audio controller, what you need now is to add a speaker. So here I'm going to add an object and I'm going to look for a speaker. I'm going to add that in. So here under speaker here, as you can see in the properties panel, I can actually adjust the volume. I'm not going to set it at 100%. I'm going to bring down to maybe about 60. And of course under audio here, I'm going to link it to my audio playback controller. So now I have on my patch editor, I have the audio controller. All I need to do now is to make sure that um, when my user is on the filter, um, whenever the, con the the camera is switched on, the play the music is going to play. So to do that, I'm going to go to my scene panel under camera. I'm not just going to click and drag this to the patch editor. And here I have four options. I have whether the music will play when the front camera is active or the back camera is active. Uh, photo is captured or video is recording. So um, up to you how you want it to, uh, how you want the music to play. For me, I'm gonna use the video recording. So whenever uh, the user records a video, the music will start to play. So it's as easy as that. And under microphone here, if you notice, in the scene panel, right? This is where uh, the user can actually uh, record their own voice. So if you want to disable that, you just click on the disable function here, right? So I'm just going to uh, have that checked. And of course, if you click on your audio here, you can test your music, make sure is that um, she's the right music. Okay, so let's send this to Instagram to test um, your filter, see if it works. So let's test it up. I have a picker UI buttons here and I'm going to press record. And when I press record, 
you can hear the music playing okay so your the effects work so that's how I actually add music to your Instagram filter let me know if you enjoyed this video okay make sure you like this tutorial and let me know in the comments below um, any effects that you actually want to create on IG filter using spark AL studio so I'll see you in the next tutorial